Today we will be dewarming the Red Plague times Heavy BB Puffs. I'm going to share a couple of different dewarmers that we use and how to use them correctly. We're going to be using Pyrental. Pyrental, like how I told you guys, is easier on the stomach. And this is where you want to start when you're starting your puppies at two weeks old. Remember, you could do two, four, six, eight, and ten. I like to go two, then four, okay? And then we jump to the safeguard. For Pyrental, I like to use one ml or one cc, which is the same thing, per five pounds of body weight. The puppies we will be utilizing today weigh about two and a half pounds. So I will be using half a ml or half a cc in the syringe for the puppy's first round of dewarming. Okay, now we have Safeguard, okay? Safeguard's a little bit harsher. It does a better job at removing worms, but you don't wanna start this with your puppy at two weeks, okay? Now, you really wanna start this at eight weeks. You could possibly start it at six. If you have Giardia or Coccidia, okay? You could possibly start it at four weeks with get, getting away with it, but that's pushing the envelope. Unless you have the Coccidia or the Giardia, do not start those babies on this stuff, okay? This is last result. You see your puppies are going down. They're not doing good. They're losing weight. They have soft stool, diarrhea. Something's off. You don't know what's going on. It's most likely a Giardia or a Coccidia, and you would use the safeguard starting at the four weeks, but I don't recommend it. That's emergency situations, okay? Now, how do you use this safeguard? Because some people will go and they'll use the safeguard one round and that said, oh, my puppies were dewarmed. A couple of weeks later, the dog still has worms. Why? This is used in three, three consecutive days, five consecutive days, and in bad situations up to 10 consecutive days, okay? For the Giardia and the Coccidia, you're gonna need at least five to 10 days of treatments to get rid of that. A three-day treatment won't work and a one-day treatment won't work for anything when you're using the safeguard. So remember that. With the safeguard, you want at least to do a three-day treatment if your dogs are doing okay. If you suspect Giardia uh, or a Coccidia, hit at least five days or more consecutively, okay, with the safeguard. The safeguard is harsher than the Pyrental. So when you start with your puppies, use your Pyrental, start them off. If you wanna to go to the eight or 10 weeks and the Pyrental's working great for you, good. If you want a little bit more reinsurance and you wanna hit them with the two, four, and then switch up the dewarming so that the worms don't get used to the product that you're using, that's another reason why I do it. You hit them with the Pyrental in the beginning, nice and easy on their stomach. Then you come with the safeguard starting about six to eight weeks, okay? If you guys have any questions on this dewarming, uh, feel free to drop a comment and I will answer, okay? All right, it's time to deworm some puppies. As I told you before, these puppies are about two and a half pounds. You can always weigh your puppies on a scale to get the exact weight so you can give the exact measurement. They will be receiving half a cc. I always start them because these are American Pit Bull Terriers, medium sized to large dogs. When they're about two weeks old, I start them off with half a cc. Now, if you're working with something smaller, maybe a Frenchie, a Poodle, teacups, uh, toy dogs, look into the weight, get it right, because you don't want to give the dog too much dewarming. You can get them sick, you could possibly even kill them. So always make sure you have your exact um, weights and your exact dosage in place. So we're going to deworm this puppy now. Remember, for this two and a half pound pup, I am using half a cc, or half an ml, they're both the same thing, okay? Make sure you don't have no bubbles. If you have bubbles, try to remove them as best as possible so that you can get the exact dosage. How do I like to deworm my puppy? Very simple. You come, you grab with your two, these two fingers usually are the best to use. You put them right between the jaw and you open up like that and then you use them to keep the mouth open. And I'm gonna show you right here. Always keep the puppy's head tilted back a little bit because you don't want them to, um, to choke or anything like that. So you just tilt it back a little bit, nice and gentle. If you're using more of the dewormer, go nice and slow because they will choke. As you see, this puppy uh, received this dewarming perfectly fine and now it's ready to go. In two weeks again, we'll hit with another dewarming. And remember, at six weeks you hit again, eight weeks and 10 weeks. If you're doing, if you're switching to the safeguard by six or eight weeks, remember safeguard is used um, consecutively for at least three days. And if you have the Giardia, Coccidia, something like that, you want to go at least five to 10 days consecutively, depending on your case and situation. All right, guys. So that's a little bit about safeguard and Pyrental. 
Puffies are now de-warmed. If you guys enjoyed the video or felt it helpful in any way, don't forget to buy a thanks and show your appreciation.